Well, how the varmints. In this video, I'll show you how I prepared oyster shells for use with sugar wash fermentation. Yeehaw! <laughs> Welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern day technology. This channel is dedicated to challenging home distilling traditions in an apartment setting. Please consider subscribing to follow my progress on building a fully robotic reflux still operating on open source technology on a Raspberry Pi computer. As many of you already know, fermentation produces acid and if the pH gets low enough, you may get a slower stuck fermentation. One way to keep that from happening is to add oyster shells to the fermenter. Here are the steps that I took to prepare my oyster shells for my fermentation pH control video coming out soon. On Valentine's Day, I grabbed oysters for me and the missus. First, shuck those slimy little bastards, then enjoy them with your partner or all by yourself. Seeing as it's Valentine's Day, take some time to reflect on your relationship with others, or come to the realization of how desperately lonely you are, deep down inside. When you are done crying, fill a pot with water and set it to boil on the stove. In the meantime, take a knife and scrape the little bits of oyster stuck to the inside of the shells. Try to get off as much as possible. Drop those suckers into the boiling water and set a timer for 15 minutes. Once done, carefully take them out with tongs and rinse them with cold water to cool them off. I like to do a final scraping with the knife just to remove any little bits of oyster left behind. We want to remove every little bit but the shell. The last thing we want is our sugar wine smelling like the stinking festering fishy armpit of an unwashed Aquaman. Again, these oyster shells will be used in our pH control experiments video coming out shortly. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and smash that subscribe button, that bell icon, so you don't miss any future videos. Hope you're having a great day, and I love you all very, very much. <laughs>